We're quite, uh, quite in the clear here at Annapolis, and uh, I hope you'll come back and join us on AM when time permits there, Glenn. And for LOX in Sevierville, Tennessee, WA3VJB. Back to you, Glenn. Okay, Paul, you're at uh, about a 5.7 on that last transmission. The band's going in and out, I guess. But uh, I'm running an ICOM 7300 on 100 watts and uh, got an NFED half wave. Transformer's about a foot off the ground with the feed line going into it. And the far end of it is 84 feet away up in a tree about uh, 25 feet off the ground. And it is leaning, you know, the, the angle of the dangle there is pointing your way. It's pointing east. So uh, that probably helps transmission a little bit. What is my signal like on your end coming through? Over. Yeah, you're between S9 and 10 over. Really good uh, copy. I should point out that the IC7300 has really acquitted itself on AM. Some of the earlier ICOM transceivers sounded awful on AM. They just didn't put much into that mode when they designed the rig, and it's got some design shortcomings. But with the 7300 and I think the, uh, the 7610, uh, I don't know the nomenclature, but the 7300 is not only very popular on AM, but it, it does a good job right out of the box. And yours is no exception, so uh, that's another reason to feel welcome in this part of the hobby, Glenn. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the good signal report. I didn't have any idea it would be that good on your end. But, uh, yeah, all, all I've done up to this point is just uh, sideband. And, you know, with having a carrier wave all the time, that's heating my rig up a little bit. But hopefully it's not heating up the, uh, the toroid out in the uh, transformer on the antenna too much. I'll have to go out and check that right after I'm done with you. But, yeah, it's been great talking to you, Paul. appreciate you jumping in there. And uh, I did uh, log you on QRZ. So... Uh, We'll have that to keep track of, but uh, yeah, appreciate the QSO and uh, WA3 BJB. This is uh, N4 LOX, and uh, we'll be clear on your final. Okay, Glenn. Well, I can't claim to be your first AM contact because I heard you tell Will that was his status. But when I look at the uh, QRZ.com logbook, I might very well be one of the first ones in, in the logbook there, unless Will beat me to it. So I'll, uh, I'll look forward to, to having that as part of the document and testimony there, Glenn. Please come back, and uh, we'll spend some more time when conditions are a little better. I, I got the same kind of fade on you, but it's not uh, doesn't knock you out. It just takes a little bit of the margin away. And I heard somebody else come up from uh, 7290. I'm showing 7292. I heard somebody else zero beat you, so maybe there will be somebody following to, uh, to CUSO with as well. We'll see you later. N4 LOX at Sevierville, Tennessee on the IC7300. Go check that toroid. <laughs> WA3 VJB Annapolis. We'll see you, Glenn. Nice to meet you. 73, Paul.